So we've had a couple comments recently, um, and we decided that there were some things that maybe we need to explain or uh, kind of show uh, to the community. So this video, we are going to show you the difference between a V6 genuine hot end, and then we're also going to show you what a clone one looks like. This goes out to you, comments. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. Nailed it. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to E-Tree 3D. And we make mistakes so you don't have to. For those of you that are new here. I'm Sierra, he's Mike. On YouTube, we came across this. This is the all metal extruder. Not even close, <laughs> but we're gonna go with E-3D V6 all metal hot end. We're gonna show you the difference between a genuine and a clone. Now where you're gonna see that difference is going to be right here. And this is called the heat break. Wow, heat break. It's called a heat break, not an <laughs> e-break. It's called a heat break. So we're gonna e-sports. <laughs> so if you notice the, the thing that stands out here is the throat, the, the size of the throat. So this is gonna be a lot smaller on a genuine one. And this one's going to be a little bit thicker. That's the big difference between the genuine and the clone. clone. The big thing you want to, that you're going to notice here, this right here is our P T P T F E. Yeah, P T F C E. <laughs> this is not the A B C D game. <laughs> so we got to do the alphabet. This guy. So this is the P T F E tube that we're calling that. As you can see, it fits. Yay. I promise. But anyways, the one thing you'll notice is that with this one, it only goes in about yay far. So about a half inch, maybe three quarter inch. And if I had to guess in millimeters, I'm not going to because I don't know the metric system yet. And so as you see on this one, <laughs> it goes right through. It goes right through. Now for the, us to call this, you know, all metal. Yes, it, everything's metal except for the PTFE tube. However, the concept of the, the PTFE tube going all the way through to the nozzle is what we see in the Chidi. Uh, so whenever you take that apart, or if you check out this video right up here, which is the one where I have a massive clog and it took me two hours to take apart, but only 10 minutes on video, cause video magic. But it goes all the way through, and so at about 260 to 265 degrees Celsius, the PTFE tube starts to degrade and wear out, and it has to be replaced quite a bit. No bueno. Not at all. And that's because it gets heated up a lot. So, if you order one of these, this right here is the clone setup because it's got this little adapter on top, which it's okay to buy this as a clone. It's good to buy everything as a clone if you want to. However, with this being the clone, it's not too big of a problem. So we screw in the genuine. Exactly. And let me screw this on. Start the camera while I screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Direct eye contact. Yep. It's important. It is. I just can't get. <laughs> <laughs> so. If you watch the Chad Mod video, which is also going to be linked in here, this is what I, the setup I've got. You'll notice that this right here, this hole is a lot bigger than the PTFE tube. However, it slides right in and it stops right there like you saw. So it doesn't go all the way down when you get everything hooked up to this right here mm -hmm. and it gets all heated up and you get everything situated properly. You'll notice that this tube doesn't come down here. This will heat up, comes up to that heat break. And then once it hits up here into the heat sink area, that's when the fans will blow it in and pull it out if you're using the Chad mod and I think uh, the, you could possibly add a different or third fan in there but we we only use the two Chad mod I think others there's other mods out there exactly but is what that does is it keeps that PTFE tube from getting hot and starting to degrade which is good because very good you go through less of it less maintenance yay now I'm gonna take it apart seven times well yeah However, that was user error. You put the fan on backwards. 
it's okay. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> It was not my fault. It was my first time taking it apart. But you did it. And then I put it together seven more times and then found the problem. <laughs> Alright, so now when we put the clone in, what you're going to notice is when we push the PTFE tube down... It goes all the way through. All the way through. And so, like I was explaining, when you heat up the heat block here, it will start to degrade that, especially if you're printing the high temp stuff, you know, your... Uh, carbon fibers or some any other uh, materials that you need to take it up way high but puts the lotion on its it skin puts the lotion it puts the tube in the hole <laughs> but as you can see it comes all the way down and touches the nozzle and that's not what we want uh, it kind of defeats the purpose because if you go with the clone here not saying it's bad I'm saying if you go with the clone here you're kind of still doing the same thing that you had with the standard factory cheaty uh, hot end and you can run this thing up especially if you upgrade uh, everything like I did uh, in the video it's gonna run you up to 300 plus degrees um, so I hope this is a good video explanation demonstration walkthrough entertainment yeah and cool thing is I got a three times larger than life plastic hot end I can't do nothing with it's okay but I hope it actually helped you all um, kind of understand this so if you get the chance click on a couple of our links head over to our patreon account and support us over there uh, your support over there helps support this channel and help support the content make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell notification should they share yeah, they should probably share. Probably share. Probably share. Okay. We'd appreciate it if you share. It'd be nice. And then leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. It's a skeleton of a unicorn. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Cheers.